Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Welcome to my fish room. Today I'll show you how I culture microworms. Hang on. Microworms are not actually worms, but tiny nematodes. They are worm-like though, and they must have live food if you're a fish breeder. These creatures are small, but they are larger than infusoria, and smaller than baby brine shrimp, so they close the gap between these two equally important live foods. If you breed betas, killies, rainbow fish, tetras, rasboros, bobs, blue eyes, corridors, dwarf cichlids, or other small aquarium fish, microworms are important, and they are a great food source for adult nanofish as well. Most important, these worms are super easy to culture in a small jar in your home. The lifespan of a microworm is 20 to 30 days and the nematode starts to reproduce when it's 3 days old. It bears 40 young every 1 to 2 days. Therefore, each female in a short lifetime produces between 400 and 1000 young that each start producing offspring at the age of 3 days. You get the picture. In no time your culture is a mass producing catering service for your fish fry. This live food will move lively in the water, which triggers the feeding reflex of the fry. And they will remain live in the fresh water for 12 hours or more. Here's what you need to culture microworms. A small plastic jar, some filter wool, instant potato mix, water, a starter culture and some dried yeast. Let's get to it. Add some potato mix to the bucket. I put a layer of about half an inch. Add some water. You can use coal or warm water. It doesn't really matter much. I normally use cold water. You want this mix to be so wet that it kind of aligns itself. Then you add the starter culture. This is a small amount of live worms. Starter cultures can be bought online or if you have a culture running yourself you just take a bit from the, the old culture to start a new. Then you add a little bit of dried yeast. This will speed up the process of getting the culture running. I made a hole in this lid and I close it with some filter wool just to make sure no bugs fly down there and spoil the culture. Remember to put a date on your culture so you know when it's time to renew. 
In a day or two, your culture will be teeming with worms. Feeding your fish. The microworms will climb up the sides of the container. I use Q-tips to swap a small amount of microworms and then feed them directly to the fish. I'm not worried about getting a small amount of the potato meteor in the water. It will be eaten by the fish, shrimps and snails. Maintaining your culture. Remember to harvest regular, since the individual worm will die of AIDS if nobody eats it. Thereby add to the decline of the culture. Usually a culture will produce well for four to six weeks without getting too smelly. Start a new culture after four to five weeks and you'll have a smooth running operation. If the culture gets too wet, add a bit of potato mix powder. If it gets too dry, add water. If the culture is getting less productive, you can add more yeast to get a burst of worms but it's a sign that it may be time to start a new culture. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.